when it comes to powerpoint somehow we are always running short on time right what if i tell you that using only a few shortcuts you can save not seconds but minutes and maybe hours of your time hi everyone this is shruti sharma powerpoint designer enthusiast and trainer and my aim is to help students or professionals like you create more effective presentations In this video I'll be teaching you the most used powerpoint shortcuts that will not only help you save time but also increase your work efficiency. So without any ado let's get into the video. Starting with the first one how to increase or decrease the shape size. You can use shift plus your four arrow keys on your keyboard to increase or decrease the size. For example to change the height of this rectangular box I can press shift and top arrow key. to decrease the height shift and bottom arrow key to increase the breadth shift and right arrow key and to decrease the breadth shift and left arrow key so you can play with all the four keys to figure out what works for you what kind of size you're looking for now coming to shapes which have aspect ratio of 1 is to 1 which means shapes which have equal sides or equal radius for example a circular shape or a kite shape or a square shape In such cases when you try to do that with shift and arrow key you have to do it twice let me show you how so if you click on shape format and see the dimensions right now it says the dimensions are equal 5.29 right which means the radius is all same now if i click and press shift and arrow key you will see the dimension is getting changed right so you'll have to do the top arrow and then right arrow top arrow right arrow to make sure that the dimension stays same but even then sometimes you will see the dimension does change there is a hack that can actually show you how to increase or decrease the size using the shift and arrow keys but keeping the dimension and aspect ratio same so right click on the shape click on format shape go to this third box which says size and properties and tick mark the lock aspect ratio box once you do that it basically locks the aspect ratio 1 is to 1 which means now when you increase or decrease the size it will always increase or decrease in the same ratio you don't have to click multiple times as you can see let's try it once again with this diamond shape now i'm again going to show you how to do that how to lock the aspect ratio so right click on the shape click on format shape go to the third option which is size and properties and click the lock aspect ratio box that you see right here now once you have done that you can see the aspect ratio right now is 5. Point, the size is right now 5.86 and 5.86 it will always increase or decrease keeping the same aspect ratio this hack is basically for shapes which have the same aspect ratio but if you are looking at any other shape for example this sort of rectangular shape then you can increase or decrease the size just by clicking the shift and arrow keys so that's your first shortcut coming to the second shortcut which is alignment of the text so as we know there are four types of alignments left aligned center aligned right aligned and justified generally we click on the sentence and we go on top and choose the options from these four now you can actually do that using your keyboard so in order to align your sentence to left you can just press control l to align it right control r center align its control e to justify its control j let me show you once again to left align your sentence or your alphabets you can do control l to center align its control e to right align control r and to justify control j very very simple commands easy to remember and trust me saves a lot of time coming to the third shortcut just like how we learned how to increase or decrease size of a shape using your keyboard you can also manage and maneuver size of your text using this simple shortcut so choose the word the sentence press control shift and greater than less than key is what you can use to increase or decrease the size to increase the size is control shift and greater than key to decrease the size is control shift and less than key very very simple and very very effective again saves a lot of time coming to the third shortcut how to open a new deck a blank presentation all you have to do is press control n 
and a new direct will open right in front of you. Let me show you once again, very, very simple. Press Ctrl N and a brand new presentation will open right in front of you. Now, how do we add a new slide to the deck using a shortcut? So, if I'm working on this deck and if I want a new slide over here, all I have to do is press Ctrl N, slide will open. Suppose I need a new slide right here. I can just do Ctrl M and a new slide will open. So, to open a new slide, it's Ctrl M. To open a new deck, it's Ctrl N. Coming to the next shortcut, which is basically text effects. How do we make this text bolder, add an underline and also make it italics? So very, very simple and easy to remember. Shortcuts, Ctrl B to make it bolder, Ctrl U to add underlines and Ctrl I to basically make it italics. Let me show you once again. So as you see, this text is already bolder. So if I do Ctrl B, it will become unbold. To make it bolder again, I can do Ctrl B again. To give it an underline, Ctrl U. To make it italics, Ctrl I. Very, very simple and very easy. Coming to the next shortcut, how to group and ungroup multiple elements. So if you look at this one, there are three elements. There is a circular shape, there is an icon and there is a sentence. Now if I want to group all three of them, just select them all and do Ctrl G. To ungroup is you can do Ctrl, Shift and G. Let me show you once again. I can select all these things together if I want to group them. Control G to group it. Control Shift G to ungroup it. Again, this saves a lot of time because grouping and ungrouping is one feature that we use almost in each and every presentation. Now, this makes your job much easier. Let me give you a last demo. I'm selecting all the elements on these slides. Control G to group them. Now, if you see, this has become one unit. You can actually copy it on the next slide as is and control shift G to ungroup it. All right, the next one, how to undo and redo. We already use control Z a lot to undo, but did you know that you can also redo by using the shortcut of control Y? For example, if I'm making this bolder by using the shortcut control P, now to get it back, I can do control Z and to redo, I can do control Y. Let's try it once again. I'm adding a shape over here. Now to undo the shape, control Z, to get the shape back, I can do control Y and it's done. The next one. Coming to the next shortcut, how to start a slideshow. In order to start your slideshow, all you need to press is function F5 key and your slideshow will start from the very beginning. If you want your slideshow to start from the current slide, for example, if I wanted to start from here, you have to do shift function F5 and your slideshow will start from there. So function F5 to start your slideshow from the very beginning. But if you want your slideshow to begin from any particular slide that you are on, you can do shift function and F5 just like that. Now, how to save your presentation? This is something which is common for Excel, Word. So I'm sure most of you would already know this. Control S is basically to save your presentation. Control S, very, very simple and easy to remember. Press Control S to save your presentation. Now, coming to the last bonus shortcut key that I want to tell you. This is actually not less than any magical key. So, did you know that the moment you press Alt, you will be able to see all shortcuts on your screen. Let me show you how. So now I'm not doing anything, I'm just pressing one simple innocent alt key on your keyboard and let's see the magic. Can you see the alphabets on the top? These are basically shortcuts. So for example, let's say your mouse is not working and you can't stop your work. So you can use alt key to actually create your presentation as well. Like for example, if I need to add an image over here, a picture. So let's look at the top. So insert says N, right? So I'm going to press N. Picture says P, as you can see over here. So I'm going to press P. Now, if you want to add image from this device, you can press D. Wait for the folder to open. And done. Let me show you once again. Press the Alt key, you will be able to see all your commands. For example, for slideshow, I'm going to go to S. Now, in here, it will give me all the options. If I want the 
slideshow to begin from the current slide, I can just press C and my slideshow will begin. Let me show you one last example, Alt key. If you want to go to view, you can press W. If you want to, let's say, add guides. So it says S for guides. You can just press S and you'll be able to see these guides over here. If you want to get rid of grid lines, again, press Alt. Press W for view. And for grid line, it's G. So I'm going to press G and look at this. I've gotten rid of grid lines. So you can do anything using this Alt shortcut. And once you start using this, you already remember the commands. You don't have to, you know, look at it each time. So especially for basic things like insert an image, insert a table, these simple commands, you'll be able to remember them the more you use the key. I hope that you enjoyed today's video and I also hope that you're going to use these shortcuts in your everyday presentations. Do like, share and subscribe to my channel and let me know if you want me to make video on any particular PowerPoint topic and I'll surely make one. Thank you so much.